Hi everybody and welcome to Infinity. My name is Wes Levanitu and today we're going to talk about the, the array modifier and especially some, um, some features, um, make, making it really interesting to use. So, um, let me show you what it is about. So let me create a cube, for example. And uh, with that cube, I, I will use that cube with an array modifier because let me create the array to show you. What I'm talking about is uh, those two features here, start cap and hand cap, what it is about. Simply, uh, it will allow you to hide a mesh uh, uh, at the beginning of the array and another one at the end. But the way to uh, to place the mesh is um, is really tricky. So this is something I want to show you. And after that, where you can apply uh, um, this uh, uh, this uh, trick uh, on your project. So uh, what I'm going to do? Let me let me remove this face and this face here, and let let me place them on another layer. Okay, so now I have this. I have this here. So of course I can increase and decrease. Let's keep it simple for now. Okay, so let's go. Let me remove that and remove this one. So what I'm going to do, let me cr uh, create a quick geometry to um, so you can uh, uh, distinguish the, the start and the hand cap. Okay, let me put something like this. Okay, and let me remove this face because it will close the, uh, the object. And on this one, let me on this one do something else. Okay, something really quick, nothing really. Uh, okay, so something like this. Let me shrink it a bit. Okay. This, for example. Okay, something ridiculous like this. Okay, so to be able to uh, to cap this array, to be able to uh, to cap it, I have to place the geometry uh, in a certain way for this to work. So let me explain you uh, how exactly. I have to uh, the origin uh, should not be here but at the top of the mesh here. So let me place it like this. And not only that, uh, you have to place, let me show you. So to make it work, you, you have to place it at the, at, at the same origin that the principal mesh and the the origin has to be placed on the on the cap at the top of the mesh and by doing that if i uh this one is zero zero one if i choose the start cap with this one as you can see it will close the mesh perfectly and here it is the same so i have to put the origin here and put it here like this let me maybe shrink it, shrink it a bit like this. Okay, and use the end, uh, the end cap. Oh yeah, this is something really important. I, I, I want to um to talk about it. Let me first. That. And put it here. Voila. 
and as you can see I have the mesh like this and I can increase the, num the, the number of objects and it will cap automatically. So something really important about the cap. If you want to uh, the bottom of the cap has to be aligned with with the mesh itself here. So it is really important. If, for example, I choose this mesh and I move it a little backward like this, and I activate this, look what's going to happen here. You will have a gap because they are not aligned here. You see? And another thing, if you want to extend the mesh, uh, you can do it uh, uh, with no problem, but the the base has always to be aligned with the with the base geometry. For example, if I do an extrusion like this and I activate the array, you see here, it will go inside the mesh. So if I want to extend the mesh. I have to take that part and I can ex extend it as much as I can if I want to. But as long as the base uh, stay aligned with, uh, with the main mesh, as you can see here, I will have no problem with that. And of course I can merge first last and I will be able to, uh, to extend, uh, uh, to continue to, to extend uh, the array, uh, it will cause no problem. So um, you're going to tell me, okay, uh, that's fine. I, I already saw that about about Blender and stuff, but how can you apply that on on your work and and what type of of um, mesh you can create with that? So uh, of of course, obviously, uh, the type of uh, of object you can create with that is cable cable for mechanical design and stuff like that but i want to show you uh, how to apply it with a much more organic uh, project so let me show you this so uh, this is a working progress of the bottle i showed you previously I'm, I'm i'm doing some research about it and uh here this is the exact well sorry we select snake and here this is the same technique i use i use the i i 3d model uh, this part separately the the top and the bottom and i have to finish that by so if i remove the head as you can see the um uh, 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 you will see the the main mesh and all i have to do after that is just uh Snake, uh, no, not this one, sorry, but this one. And it will cap with, with the head for me. And as you can see, let me, this is just the body of the snake. Really simple. And I use a, a curve to, uh, to make it bend around around the bottle uh, as I want and this is really powerful because it, it allows me to to extend or or, or, or reduce the, the length of the snake and uh, it, it is really powerful for animation for example and stuff like that so this is where to me uh, the array modifier can be really uh, really powerful so um, and, and that's the thing uh, use uh, using the tool uh, in the right way you will be able to uh, create really complex but uh, efficiently manageable uh, a 3d mesh and uh, yeah this is some some really powerful stuff y you can find in blender so and um, and well, as i showed you the it's not complicated to 3d model it's deadly simple the most difficult part was of course the uh the head and even that, with the uh, with uh, uh, modeling analysis video, I show you how I start to to analyze a reference to to 3D model stuff, and 
and it, it stays really manageable and easy to do, you see. So, and after that, uh, you can add details. Um, me personally, I ho always add details uh, with map or just straight with uh, handmade geometry because this stuff is really easy and fast to do and, and, uh, and, and you can make a quick backup and, and uh, go uh, to previous version if you want to. But uh, this one allows me to create uh, a really nice details like this. And that's really, really fast. But I, I will show you that in the Mesh Master course. So this is to me the power of the array modifier. So uh, yeah, just try it. Just try to apply it in one of your project. Uh, you may think uh, that will uh, use that type of, of stuff. And yeah, I hope it was informative. And as always, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, until the next video, guys, I wish you a great day. And I hope the, the week will be, will be productive for everybody. And uh, yeah, see you soon.